These are the best and worst villagers of every personality type in Animal Crossing New Horizons. We're going to be going through every single personality type and I'm going to be giving you my full, completely unrestricted opinions and I'm going to go completely crazy, unapologetically. Okay, let's start off with the normal type. The Katie or the Bailey or Haley of the Animal Crossing universe. She's a bit basic, but she's sweet to the core and will always make you feel better. This is a good place to start. The runners up for the best normal type villager are Gale, Celia, Fauna. There's a bunch of really good normal type villagers, but the best normal villager has got to be Marina. She is so sweet with that beautifully knitted grandma sweater around her waist, and she is just so cute. She walks around my village like she owns the place, and when I saw her, I almost lost a limb. I was so excited. Now, for the worst normal villagers, this one was pretty hard because the normal villagers are usually pretty dang good, but the runners up for the worst are Alice and Pico. Now, Alice, they just these chicks remind me of real humans, and I just get a little creeped out by anamorphic animals that are like too similar to humans, where you're like, should I ask this person if they want like a soda or something like that? You know what I mean? Like, is this a real human? So that kind of puts me off, but the worst is Annalisa. Okay, I'm sorry, the anteaters aren't that great, and this might be the worst. She is at my best friend's village, and she can't stand her. I can't even stand her for her. I'm ready for to, I'm ready to go to my friend's village, bring a garbage bag, and you know, get her out of there if you know what I mean. But I can't, you know, I don't know. She's just kind of boring, she's kind of basic, smug. Now this is the type of villager to spit on your face and ask you, why are you wiping it off? They're usually self-centered and a little mean, but you come to love them for it. This type can either be a hit or a miss. Either the mean jokes land or they don't. The runner-up for the best smug villager are Marshall and Lopez. They're great. Marshall is, of course, one of the most loved villagers in the whole entire game. And Lopez just looks really sweet. And he looks like he's done with your stuff. But the best one is an even better deer. And that's Zell. Zell just oozes cool. His horns, ears, whatever they're called, they're epic, and all of the patterns on his face look so majestic. He looks like he's straight from the wild, and like everyone would be scared of him because he's so cool. Now, for the worst smug villagers, my runners up are Raymond and Pietro. You can come for me. You can throw your tomatoes at me. I'm giving away my Raymond. If you didn't know that, subscribe, ring the bell. I'm doing a giveaway of Raymond very soon because um, I don't want him anymore. So I guess me not liking Raymond is good for you, Raymond lovers, because I am going to be giving him away for free, which just kind of annoys me. He seems too full of himself. Pietro just kind of weirds me out. But the worst smug is Klaus. Now, let me tell you, I had this dude for literally 20 minutes on my island. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I had him for 20 minutes. I'm not a time traveler, but you could call me back to the future with the amount of times I time skipped to get rid of this dude. I went back, front, left, center. I did I did cartwheels in the middle of space. I did everything I could to get rid of him. He just kind of creeps me out. Peppy villagers. Now, if I were an Animal Crossing villager, I think I'd be a mix of peppy and lazy. With that said, Peppy is annoying as heck. I have four Peppy villagers, and they all sound like robots who are programmed to be annoying. I mean, they literally all they want to do is be famous, which I can understand, but I feel like they don't even want to be famous. They're just programmed to be famous. They just seem so robotic to me. But I love them. I love them. The runners up are Rosie and Ketchup. Ketchup is just excellence, okay? It's campy. It's silly. She's seriously a tomato that turns into ketchup. It's a little morbid if you think about it. She's a tomato that's about to turn to ketchup. And then Rosie, of course, is you know, super cool. But there's one duck I love more than the rest, and that's Pom Pom. Pom Pom is just so confident, so kooky, so weird. She walks around and you just laugh at her, but not in a mean way. We laugh with her. She's just so, so crazy. I just, I love her. But there's a lot of bad peppy villagers. There's there's a big abundance of, of bad peppy villagers. The runner-up being Bella. This chick gives me Avril Lavigne at the age of five, and she's just too obnoxious, even for my taste. But the worst is Anacati. This red just looks like she's about to say something problematic, and I don't want to be here to hear it. I don't want to hear it at all. Now, if I had to pick a best Animal Crossing personality type, it would be Lazy. Lazy is just consistently cool, funny, I mean, they're the type of villagers that really make me laugh the most. They just make me giggle all the time. Now, there's almost too many runner-ups. I could have had 10 runner-ups, but I only picked two, and they're pretty unique. The first one being Bo. Bo is the coolest dude in the bunch. He's also at my friend's village, the same with Annalisa. And let me just tell you, we'll never have to give the big garbage bag for him. He is completely safe. 
but Barold, Barold reminds me of a Total Drama Island character, and I respect him. You remember Harold from Total Drama Island? He reminds me of Harold from Total Drama Island, and I just, I think that's hilarious. But the best is Zucker. There is no competing with Zucker. This kid is literally a piece of food ready for consumption, and he makes sure to live life to the fullest by doing absolutely nothing every day. He just sits and does nothing every day and has these fun little, like, I think they're illusions. I don't know if he has something wrong in the head, but it's okay if he does. But Zucker is just crazy 24-7. Uh, and, you know, he is about to die. I mean, he look he's literally on a skewer. It looks like he's on a skewer ready to be eaten. So I'm happy he's at least having fun with his life. Now, it was really hard to find bad lazy villagers, too, but Jacob and Joey... Now, Jacob and Joey, wow. They remind me of two 23-year-old dudes who live in their parents' basement and promise, oh, they promise, that they will make a million bucks by making epic skater videos on YouTube. It's been five years, you two. Hurry up. Where's the money at? But the absolute worst is Big Top. You can't make this guy up. Big Top? I mean, the only thing he's topping is the top of Nikachu's worst lazy villagers list okay but the big sister big sister's another really great archetype it was really hard to find bad ones but the best runner-up is fuchsia she's fashionable big sister you would love to have any of her hand-me-downs you'd happily take all of her hand-me-downs but the best is phoebe phoebe is big sister realness she is the best nothing can compete with this chick she is the big sister of all big sisters this is the big sister that you know they warn you about your friend's big sister who takes you to walmart at 1 a.m and buys you a kit kat i love this chick in real life and you know and pretend i just she's awesome i could really only find one big sister i didn't like and that was ursula this sis she needs this big sis is up to something she's like candace she's gonna ruin your day just like your phineas and ferb you know you just want to have a fun summer day and candace comes and ruin it and that's what ursula reminds me of cranky there is not many good crankies at least in my opinion i'm not usually gravitated to the crankies the runner-up is octavian and interesting to point out that every single octopus villager has made it to the top two of every personality trait they're just that good their personalities of i mean the octopus are just consistently really really great designs and great characters but i don't think anything will compare to gaston now, I think a lot of you will be really surprised to hear Gaston on this list, but let me, let me, let me draw you a picture. Gaston looks like a dad from a 1970s movie that would beat up the living daylight out of his daughter's boyfriend after the boyfriend brings her home 20 minutes late after curfew. And for that, I adore you, Gaston. I want him to be like the dad figure of every single Animal Crossing movie, roleplay, cosplay, I don't know, he just seems awesome. The worst again there's a lot to pick from but special shout out to Knox. so the absolute worst i'm gonna give it to limberg opposite of the octopus the mice are just always consistently bad for me uh they're usually at the bo very bottom of every list so poor mice poor mice now let's get to snooty you know i love snooty snoot 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 you know i told you i would be a peppy villager but i think my favorite people to look to would be snooty the runner up being francine Maybe this is because I'm a massive stan of Francine from American Dad. Get it, stan of Francine. But I love this chick. She's ready to give you a Mariah Carey high note, then expect you to carry her shoes to the car while she slips on her slippers. She's just flawlessly epic. But the best is Vivian. I mean, come on now. This girl turns out the looks. And I mean the dirty looks, and I mean the fashionable looks too. Everything this woman touches turns into gold she's snooty royalty the worst it's really hard to pick a worst uh, runner-up would be pansetti i feel like it's really obvious to pick pansetti but i, I kind of like pansetti there's really no snooty villagers i dislike but if i had to pick one it'd be pecan because i'm allergic to nuts and what is she trying to do she's trying to kill me or something pecan go back home let's leave it to the final personality i think this is one of the ones that i see a lot of people dislike but i think there's some redeemable qualities to the jock archetype. Uh, Runner-up would be Dom. I think this guy is so funny that he's a jock. I mean, you really would not expect Dom to be a jock. He looks like, you know, the gay theater kid. And I can say that because I'm a gay theater kid as well. But he does not seem like he'd be the jock. It really just switches up on your expectations. But there is no comparison to Bam. Give me liberty or give me death. Give me Bam or give me death. He is an icon. He's the moment. He's the future. He's the best. 
I love this guy. Something about his color scheme and design just makes me so, so, so happy. But the worst, Stinky, that's the honorable mention here. We have no room for stinkers on my island. Only Febreze is allowed here. But the absolute worst, I'm sorry to say it, it's Hamlet. I'm sorry, this guy gives me heebie-jeebies. He seems like the type of guy who'd be super sleazy, that would take a picture of people on the beach and keep it for himself. Like, he's really creepy and I don't like him, I'm sorry. So these are all of my favorite and least favorite villagers of every single personality type. There is a lot to dive in here, a lot of controversial statements that I think a lot of people are going to get upset about in the comments, but I use that as fuel for you to comment down below and tell me what I said wrong and what you think of yourself. Please, I invite you, comment your favorite and least favorite of every single personality trait. It was really fun for me to do it. I had a lot of fun making this list and making this video. So, you know, have some fun with me and comment down below. And also, like I said, I will be giving away Raymond very soon on a Raymond video. You'll know, it'll say Raymond giveaway in the video. So subscribe and ring the bell so you can be ready for that when that comes out. Thanks for watching and for more Nikachu, Animal Crossing, and Nintendo videos just like this, comment down below.